in this video I want to focus in on how to overwrite the navigational bar that is automatically generated here within our WordPress code. And so WordPress is going to give us an option rather than having these pages being generated by every page that I create to actually manipulate that the way that I want it to be. And so this is going to be kind of a WordPress 3 feature and WordPress 3 has been out for a while now different versions of WordPress. So this is kind of becoming the standard option for us to work with and even if you have some older themes they may work with this but typically you want to use some newer themes and use the newer software packages for this and so we're going to go ahead now and go back to the dashboard and we're going to see our appearance and then click on menus and we're going to look at the options that we have there now I'm going to overwrite those functions that are built into WordPress so that it can create I can create my own personal menu and I've got options here to install links pages and categories all to this particular menu so we're going to be able to make it really kind of what I want it to be focusing in on is on my own custom links there for my own pages and additional information. To start with, I'll need to go ahead and type in a menu name. Typically I usually start it off with just the word main for my main menu. And I'm going to go ahead and hit create menu. And you're going to see that it's created a menu for us to work with. Now there's nothing in my menu. <clears throat> I have the option over here under primary navigation. I can go ahead now and select this particular menu. And what I, the reason why they give us this option is because I can create multiple menus here, use them throughout my web page in different scenarios and different different uh, areas of my web page, or I can actually just completely change my link structure all up by selecting different ones here. The primary navigation is going to be what I see here. This is on this particular theme that I'm working with, and so that's the main menu that you're working with. And so I'm going to select that main that we've got created. If I hit save, you're going to notice when I go back to my web page and refresh it. They're not, there isn't going to be a navigational bar at all. And so let's go back and explain why there isn't a navigational bar. So if you notice, I don't have anything in this area right here. And that's the reason why that I don't have anything displaying on my web page at the moment. So let's go ahead and add some stuff to this. So keep in mind, I've got my primary navigation set up as main, which is going to be this tab here. So those are linked and I've got that saved. Now I will have to keep hitting the save menu here anytime I make changes to it. So I'm going to add some things to that. I can add a custom link and so I'll do that by default. Like we had before where we had the home page, I can go ahead and just put in my WordPress uh, URL for this and so I'll just do mine is the lecture snippets dot wordpress dot com and then I can give it any label that I actually want. So I'll just type in home and we'll go ahead and add that to the menu. You'll see that I'll add it over here for us to work with in our menu. Now, it is not going to show up on my page until I hit save menu, so you're going to have to keep remembering that if you're ever making any changes to this, you're going to have to save that in order for it to affect all of your pages. Now, the pages, it says most recent. I also have a view all, and you can see actually I had home on there, the default home page. Um, I'm not going to use that one though. I just wanted to, I created it as a link. However, I could have used that, but I wanted to show you how to create custom, your own custom links for that to work. Let me go back to most recent. I can go ahead and add both of those pages to it. So I'll choose add to menu. And you'll notice up here, it's going to go ahead and add those to this menu. So this whole area is going to be my menu. And then I've also got the option of adding categories as well. So if I choose the view wall, I can actually add a couple of these different categories. Like if I wanted to add the bikes category to my main navigation for whatever reason, and maybe the trails, Canada and USA. So I'm going to go ahead and add those. There are no articles in these particular categories, but I want to add them anyway because I want to show you how it works when you have a hierarchical system. I'll just choose Add to Menu, and those will all be added as well. And so you can see that I've got them in here. I can actually rearrange these in any order that I want. Maybe I want About to come up here, and then Contact Us, and then you've got Bikes, maybe then the Trails. I also want to point out that you can go ahead and drag these over you can see that I can create my own hi hierarchical system where my parent and child relationship between these particular links on the navigation. The wonderful thing about that is, is uh, most of the themes that you work with are going to allow us to have a drop down menu area for this one here. So I'm going to go ahead now and just choose save menu and I'm going to come back to my page and that's going to go ahead and refresh for us. So now if I refresh my page, I'm going to go ahead and hit refresh you'll see that I've got the home about now home if you look down here at the bottom while I'm hovering over it you see the links that I have that's going to take me back to my main web page about will take me to the about page contact us will take us to contact us 
I've got bikes, which is a category. So this isn't actually a um, page. This is actually a link for all of the bike category posts that I have. Then I also have trails, and you'll notice that I've got this drop-down menu now because I've created that parent-child relationship between those on my main menu. So that's the wonderful thing about working with menus is that you can create custom menus for your primary navigation, and you can allow for these drop-down options. Now I will tell you different themes that we're going to have for our WordPress site will handle this slightly different. So you kind of have to mess around with it on each one of your themes and see how that works. But this is the video on creating your own custom menu using the appearance menu option here within WordPress.